Hello and welcome to another vlog, another week in my life as a author trying to be an author around a full-time job. I am VA Winter, I am an indie author. I currently have one short story out which you can find links down below. I don't have any novels published yet, that is coming early 2025 is the plan at the moment. I write speculative fiction, some of it is inspired by history. The current trilogy that I'm working on is inspired by the witch trials um, but it's sort of contemporary fantasy. I wrote about 1700 words this morning and I wrote about 600 words yesterday morning before work. This Today I am working from home. Currently just killing a few minutes because I'm in between appointments and I'm just feeling a bit, I don't know, I could like the word A to be over but it isn't yet. I don't really think there's a lot else to say. I Oh I do, that's a lie. I finished House of Marion. I really enjoyed this book. It is about a girl who, she's lived her entire life really that she can remember on the run with her mum because she's got this dark magic inside of her that is um, hunted within this world so if the orders houses of magic th these houses are the ones who kind of almost like run this magical world from what I understand and the, the girl who this is following yeah so she's got this dark magic inside of her and that means that these these houses, these the people who run these houses of, of magic would want her dead, would, would kill her. So her mum took her on the run to try and avoid that. Yeah, so she ends up in one of these houses, which is run by her estranged grandmother. She's trying to hide her dark magic throughout the story and trying to sort of cultivate her pure magic, good magic, proper magic. And the story's kind of about her figuring out where she belongs and what she wants and that kind of thing. I really enjoyed it. It was on that romanticy list that I talked about before. Penguin have a... I'll link it down below uh, if I can find it again list of kind of romanticy books. This kind of is. It's YA, so it's not really spicy. It's not steamy at all, really, this one. YA levels. That's my update for Tuesday. That's my opening of the vlog. I am now going to go back to work. It is Saturday afternoon. I had yesterday off work. I did not vlog yesterday on Friday. I did have it off work though because it's virtual writing retreat in the Heart Breathings group, which got slightly derailed because Taylor Swift released a new album. This came this morning and it is, it is stunningly beautiful. As you can see from the wall behind me, I'm a Taylor Swift fan. So my yesterday got slightly derailed listening to the Tortured Poets Department and it's being slightly derailed today with the same problem. I did manage to write about 1600 words yesterday, better than no words. Today I've written about 800 words so far. I haven't got much of an update. I've been stuck on the same chapter all week on book two. It was a long chapter with about three different scenes in. My structure is going to have to completely change because I've got chapters that are barely a couple of pages and then I've got chapters that are like 500 years long. I'm still thinking about the structure of the book. I'm still thinking about um, how I can change it to make it slightly less repetitive because there are definitely scenes in there that are just a bit repetitive. Let me move back to my desk. Right, I'm trying this again. This is the fourth time I've tried to film this outro for this vlog and every single time I've hated it and had to delete it. So we're trying again. It's Sunday afternoon. I am writing. I've edited the vlog up to this point. I just need to end the vlog. I'm doing some writing because I've got frustrated with this vlog. It's 20 to 3 currently and I am just feeling frustrated with time. Like I'm doubting the path that I'm taking again. I keep having these doubts like I'm doing this historical fiction course which I mentioned in last week's vlog. I did week two this week with Caroline Lee who is a historical fiction author. Like she's traditionally published. She just writes these historical fiction books and they're all slightly different historical periods as I mentioned last week and it feels like what she's done and from what I'm gathering just from hearing her talk which is really fascinating and I'm I'm, I'm glad I'm doing it. It's, it's a pull on Thursday evenings to sit for two hours but I am enjoying it but it feels like what she does is 
she just takes this time period and really dives into it and like immerses herself in this time period for however long she needs to to write the book um and then writes it and redrafts it and obviously goes through the editing process and he's just that deep dive into this one particular topic writes a book a standalone book it gets published and she moves on to the next one and that is something that is is really appealing. I don't think I'll ever be a person who writes straight historical fiction. I love historical inspired fantasy. I, what I love doing, which is ironically not what I'm currently doing, is taking a historical period, taking a piece of history and taking very strong inspiration from it and transposing it into a fantasy world. So that it's inspired by that period in history. I would love to have the patience to write a proper historical fiction novel one day and you never know, it might happen, but at this point, my heart is still with fantasy. I'm, I can't seem to write anything without putting magic into it. But the point is that that is really appealing. And I just keep thinking, I have to get this story out. The, the, the books that I'm writing right now, I have to get this story out. And I just keep thinking, I just want to get this story done. Like, not just this trilogy, but the other, like, three trilogies that I've got in my head and plus side stories that I've got in my head. I just need to get them written and out and into the world and done. And I don't have enough time. I feel like I'm moving at a glacial pace, even though I've written 70,000 words in seven weeks, I'm going to have written a novel in nine weeks, which for me, the way I've been the last few years is very fast but it still feels like a glacial pace. And I'm getting frustrated that I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time to just sit and write this the way I want to because I have to go to work a full-time job. And I don't know what to do about that. There's nothing I can do about it. It's one of those situations where I can get frustrated at it and I can get upset about it, but it's still true. Right now, my writing doesn't earn me any money and it won't be for a while. And it's just to think finding the motivation every day to push through and just put one foot in front of the other. Do the daily grind. Don't really like that phrase, but that's essentially what it is. It's, it's the daily work, the quiet work in the shadows, the the work that that is behind the scenes, the work that is the, the foundation of everything else. And that is just the daily words on the page, the weekly videos going up. And that's hard. It's hard when all you want is to see the payoff of it. It's hard when you don't know whether there's going to be much of a payoff. This is the other thing with any kind of art that you create and power into the world. Until you put it out into the world, you don't know what that reaction is going to be. There are some days I feel like this is going to be amazing and everyone's going to love this just the way I love it. There are other days, and this is more common, that I feel like I doubt every part of the story, I doubt the structure, I doubt the characters, I doubt my writing, I doubt is it good enough, will it ever be good enough, I think even if I get it published no one's going to want to read it, it's complex, it's wanting that future when you don't even know that future's not even guaranteed. Anyway, I need to sign off the vlog, I'm still writing, as I said, so I'll put the final word count after small b-roll of me writing, probably. If you liked this video, hit like. If you want to, subscribe, and I will see you next week with another video.